Ready? Hello. All right, so uh, what we need to do is get the code from your guys' uh, presentation into Arduino. We want to start making copies of stuff. So uh, the code can be found using Vernier analog sensors with Arduino. And this is a linear calibration sensor, so we're going to reading data from sensors with linear calibration. And uh, here's the code down here. I'm going to take all this and uh, I'm going to paste it into my Arduino sketch like that. All right, so some things I'm going to include here. This is my name. Um, where is today the 10th? So this code uh, can be found at the following URL. And I'll go get that back right here. Oops, screwed that up, didn't I? Can be found here. So might as well throw it in there. So let's see. Oh, I see what's going on there. So maybe we need to put some lines in and hit return. There we go. So this was a uh, a vernier for uh, dual range force uh, sensor hacked onto an Arduino. Okay. So uh, here we're going to put in dual range sensor we were using to start off with uh, intercept of 12.25 and a slope of negative 4.9 but uh, it's important to note that uh, these values are to be used with the uh, uh, how about uh, plus, minus, uh, 10 Newton range, because we can go between uh, plus or minus 10 Newtons or plus or minus 50 Newtons. You would need to use different uh, values here. Uh, this also needs to be calibrated. Um, something interesting here uh, is this is... Uh, something we want to mess with here. So this will affect the number of measures per second. And that's good because our uh, occlusion is going to be brief. And so taking a reading every uh, every half of a second isn't going to work out. So uh, we may uh, want to start off at like 50 there. All right, and this is the initial reading number. I guess we're going to start at reading number zero. Okay, so for the Vernier Force, for Vernier format, I would like uh, Crash Lab. I make a lot of typos, don't I? My keyboard smoked. Crash Lab, February, funny word, 2017. Um. This uh, actually is going to be displayed after uh, the four dual range force sensors. Readings taken from Arduino. I'll probably just leave that alone. Data set. This should be uh, group names. Group uh, first names.
someone's knocking at my door. But I'm going to ignore. So uh, don't forget that anything that happens in the setup is um, stuff that happens once. And so all of these things in here are going to be executed one time. Uh, whereas the things that happen in the loop happen over and over again. So for now, we have serial print reading number. This is actually the first column. And so this is actually your time right here. So, so this is your time domain right here. Um, this is spaces. Um, so I'm going to put in actually a one, two, three, four, five spaces there. I might adjust that later. Then the sensor reading is actually the, the amount of time that's coming out. Now this time between readings, this delay is controlled by this value right here, and so it's going to wait 50 milliseconds per, per reading. We may have to adjust that. So uh, anyway, that's what I needed uh, you guys to change in your lab. Thank you guys very much.